Hello friends, today I'm going to teach you how to make delicious Brigadeiro macarons. These are definitely one of my top five favorite fillings. The Brigadeiro macarons have a chocolate macaron shell and a fudgy Brigadeiro filling. This filling is shelf stable for at least a couple of days. And it's complying with cottage food laws from most states, so it's wonderful. And it doesn't melt at high temperatures either. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. Start by making a batch of chocolate macaron shells. You can find the recipe on my blog or on my YouTube channel, I'm going to put a link down below. On my blog and on my YouTube video, I show you exactly how to make the chocolate macaron shells. I also piped mini shells as I do because they're super cute and I always love making them. Now let's get to what matters, the Brigadeiro filling. Here I'm making a double batch so I can roll some into Brigadeiro truffles and you can never have too much Brigadeiro. The ingredients above in the instructions are just for a single batch, but the procedure is exactly the same. Add the sweetened condensed milk, chocolate chips, or you can also use cocoa powder and butter to a pan with a heavy bottom and start cooking over medium heat, stirring with a spatula. The chocolate is going to start to melt and get incorporated with the condensed milk and the butter and the mixture is gonna start to get fudgy and thick as you cook. Do not stop stirring at any point or the brigadeiro is going to stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. I cannot stress this enough, you have to stir the whole entire time that you're cooking it. Cook until the brigadeiro is thick, falling into chunks of the spatula, and when you run the spatula through the middle, you can see the bottom of the pan. It should take about 20 minutes to cook a double batch. It takes less to cook a single batch, about 10 to 15 minutes. Time cooking will depend on how high the heat is. Always be careful when cooking the brigadeiro, because if you overcook it, it's going to be too hard to pipe. Remove it from the heat and pour it into a bowl, and then let it cool down completely at room temperature. If you put the brigadeiro in the fridge, it might get too hard to pipe also, so I don't recommend doing that. The brigadeiro can stay fine at room temperature for a day or so. Once the brigadeiro is at room temperature, put it in a piping bag fitted with the tip of your choice. Here I'm using a 1M. First, let's pipe the filling on the small shelves. Please notice that if the filling is too hard to pipe, it's probably because you overcooked the brigadeiro. It is best to make a fresh batch, but don't toss this one out. You can roll it into brigadeiro truffles, they're absolutely delicious. Brigadeiro also freezes wonderful, so you can store it in the freezer for a couple of months if you don't want to use it right now. And my favorite way is to just eat it with a spoon. I also put some brigadeiro in a piping bag fitted with a round tip, and after piping the filling and the shells, I rolled the sides of the macarons in sprinkles.
For some of the macarons, I decorated them by dipping in melted chocolate and then dipping in sprinkles while the chocolate was still wet. And then use your hands to pat it so the sprinkles stick to the wet chocolate. And finally, I also decorated some Brigadeiro macarons by drizzling melted chocolate on top of them. Like I said, this is one of my top five favorite feelings for macarons. I hope you give it a try. There is a reason why brigadeiros are so popular in Brazil. It's because they are absolutely delicious and wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!